Emergency crews plan to wrap up here soon. They're trying to right some power poles that had fallen here on Old Moxville Road. Residents, though, may not see power restored for three or four days. Go just a little ways up the road and you'll see some amazing work by Mother Nature. Just came through real fast. It's hard for these residents to believe this damage was caused by anything but a tornado. It just come this way, across the street, down that way. Emergency crews work quickly to clear trees and debris from roadways, but what didn't take Mother Nature long to mess up could take these residents months to clean up. Seen this tree fall first, and that one over there, those across the street. It's estimated more than 200 trees were knocked down. This one right on Teresa Lefew's new car. It only made two payments on it. The worst of the storm hit in the Highway 601 area and here in the Farrington Meadows subdivision off Old Mar. Knoxville Road. In all, about 18 to 20 homes in northeast Rowan County suffered some kind of structural damage, mostly wind damage to roofs. And we have a huge skylight now where the bedroom used to be. Lisa Holtzhauser found her green tin roof in the neighbor's yard. We're just thankful nobody got hurt. That's how Nadine and David Potts feel too. Nadine says she realized how hard it was raining, got up to go downstairs, but before she made it, I felt the thud and all the trees must have hit at once. When she went outside, she saw this. I thought, oh dear, what else? <laughs> the couple made it out safely with their little dog, Chaucer. They say they'll spend the night out back in their motor home. It was not damaged. And wait to see if their house is salvageable. Some things you got to worry about and other things you just got to thank the good Lord that you're safe. The National Weather Service plans to be out here tomorrow to survey the damage and to find out if this truly was the work of a tornado. In Rowan County, Kay Johnson, WBTV, on your side.